And at the end of the day, they finally came to see me with the pictures. Why protect a friend who betrayed you like that? But I didn't want to look at him. I didn't want to look at the guys who brought him either. There is a house. Your Honor, as you can see, my clients are elderly and infirm. Any incarceration could pose a serious health risk. When the bosses were arrested, some of them were so old they needed doctors at their arraignment. And pretrial services recommends that bail remain as presently set. Go ahead, take a 10 minute recess. When it looked like they could get 25 years to life in prison just for skimming a casino, sick or no fucking sick, you knew people were gonna get clipped. So the day of the arraignment, they had this meeting right in the back of the courthouse. See, when something like this happens, you know how things are gonna work out. It's always better with no witnesses. So what about Andy? He won't talk. Stone's a good kid. Stand-up guy just like his old man. That's the way I see it. I agree. He's solid. A fucking Marine. He's OK. He always was. Bring on. What do you think? Look. Why take a chance? At least that's the way I feel about it. Call Adi. Tell him. I don't care what. He's got to be in my office Thursday morning before he left. It's, it's totally important. It's I got to have a conversation with him. As much as they liked him, I mean, he wasn't one of us. He wasn't a tag. As far as they knew, he could have talked. Otherwise, Stoney might still be alive. The first one to skip was John Nance. He found a nice, warm, secluded place in Costa Rica. He thought nobody would find him there. Then his kid got nabbed by the feds for drugs. And so naturally, the bosses were afraid he'd come out of hiding just to save his kid and give them all up. So. Tell your children. That's you're going, Jack off. But anyway, they, you know, they all had to follow. Everybody went down. Oh, <laughs> Before you knew it, anybody who knew anything wound up getting whacked. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! After Ginger took off, she wasn't much help to anybody. She found some pimps, low life druggies, and bikers in LA. And in a few months, they went through all the money and all the jewels. After they found a body, I had a private doctor do another autopsy. He said they gave her a hot dose. In the end, all she had left was 3,600 men condition coins. No matter what the feds or the papers might have said about my car bombing, 